it's Elysium the is the good home. place. Like, yeah. Hades, Hades, wait, Hades is kind of your middle ground between Tartarus and Elysium, and, you know, if you are a shitter but not so bad as to need to go to Tartarus, you'll stay in Hades, but it doesn't make Hades hell. Hades yeah, it's, is kind of just there. It literally has a section of it called the Asphodel Fields, which are just... It's just a... It's just a bland landscape of just plain land. <laughs> yeah. Nothing bad, nothing good. It's just... You know, you chill. Where the dead have gone to rest. Yeah. yeah. It's... It's like hell... It's like, uh... <clears throat> Christians took like the uh, took the concept of hell from Helheim, and they're like, "Oh, it sounds very scary, and this is where all the people go, and they're stuck there forever, and it's not the good place." And it's like, "Yeah, but Helheim is more or less just cold." Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay so Ellis. Just that Ares being a villain for once because he's a god of war. I I'm kind of one of those where it's like the gods are up. Are they're doing what, what they're omnipotent. supposed. To. Yeah. Th they're in this story to be up not uh omnipotent. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. Isn't it right? Uh, they're not. They're neither a villain nor good guys. They're kind of just, you know, doing their own thing for their own enjoyment or entertainment mm, yeah, at yeah. this point. It's, it's a very, re Aries. it's a very realistic interpretation of a godlike being with that much power. Like yeah. they're not heroes. They're not villains. They're kind of beyond either of those things. Yeah. Lindsay, I, I know she's uh, like, I know she's considered like uh, controversial sometimes, but Lindsay Ellis actually did a great deep dive into Hades, like the different depiction of him through media and time and stuff like that, and how Christianity yeah. kind of shaped mm -hmm. I mean, the image we see sometimes of him. Yeah, it's with Hades, it's uh, not Hades, uh, Ares, it's kind of a little less, uh, a little less ambiguous because Ares. That's the one thing that they did get right in God of War, like, unequivocally between myth and, like, uh, popular culture, is that everybody hates Ares. Like, during the Trojan War, you know, like, one of the formative myths of ancient Greece, um, all the gods hated Ares. Like, even Aphrodite was like, listen, I know that we bang sometimes, but you're being an absolute shitter. Zeus straight up said, if you weren't my son, I would have kicked your ass out of Olympus, like, years ago. Yeah. Like... Ares is unequivocally in pretty much every myth he's in, he's uh, featured in is a villain because he's just he is a aspect of war but he is the evil aspects of war he is bloodlust carnage hatred violence pure un like unsatiable rage whereas Athena is the valor's parts of war and yeah, that is she, she's all about yeah she's all about uh, wisdom honor, and, and honor and yeah. Battle. yeah. It's encapsulated in uh, in uh, Ares's uh, two sons, uh, Phobos and Deimos, also known as Fear and uh, I believe it's Fear and Str uh, not Strife. It's fear, fear and, and Dread. Panic. Fear and Dread. Oh, fear okay. and Dread. Fear okay. Dread. Yeah. Phobos and Deimos, uh, literally yeah. regarded as two of the worst. Like you do not pray to them. They are not deities you pray to. You more or less just encounter them. Is it Deimos or Deimos? Uh, both the are correct. Pronunciation I've heard both. is different. Yeah, different pronunciations, but it's the same god. Ah. Like in God of it's... like in God of War, Ghost of Sparta, they pronounce it Demos, but yeah, in a lot of other and places, I've had it pronounced Demos. Yeah, Demos, Demos. Jeez, this is somehow also fun fact. This is now reminding me of a certain Batman villain. Hmm. You mean Ra's Al Ghul? Get the fuck out of here, man. Raish Al Ghul, apparently. It's Raish. It's Raish. Raish. No one it's cares. It's always been Raish, and I hate how in like certain depictions they even call Ra him Raz, even though it's not Raz. correct. Either. All I like, honestly, like, uh, yeah. Go ahead. I, I feel like you could do some like, I feel like you could do some interesting storytelling where it's like you know people who are less like culturally sensitive would call him Raz Al Ghul, and then immediately get their shit rocked. <laughs> Just being totally spiteful. Oh, the great <laughs> Ra's Al Ghul, and then he fucking like obliterates them in a single hit. The only thing He's I like, can oh, say the great Ra's Al Ghul. The thing they I can never say the most the about Ra's Al Ghul is the fucking TMNT movie. He gets kicked in the balls. That was funny. That was great. That was peak mm. fiction right was like, there, my dude. Cool. I'm hundreds of years old and trained with some of the greatest warriors. How did they go? Pow! Ugh. Yeah, well, I'm 16 and <laughs> I learned shot. this from a rat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bliss, I don't know if you've seen it. Like, you, you're kind of into TMNT, are you? Uh, just the original movies and the original uh, series from the 90s, so. Okay, so 
it had like this version it's basically batman versus tmnt but they have their own style to match with the goth theme of batman um uh -huh. but they have the charm of the characters Damn. Yeah, it was, a, it was a surprisingly good crossover. It was pretty Yeah, funny. I was very surprised at how they hailed up. Like, I, I... There was, like, there was a fight between Batman and Shredder, and it was brutal. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. And you had, like, fucking the Joker getting his hands on the ooze. Yeah. It's, oh, God. It's very interesting. Top ten worst and... crossovers. <laughs> yeah, all, and all of Batman's rogues gallery have become mutants, don't they? How am I supposed to get up there? Or at least yeah. the rest of them. Out of, Some, oh. out of all the people you don't want to have the Oh, you need to do the shotgun thingy. You know, that is true. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, aren't you going to do the shotgun thingy? Do the shotgun thingy. Hang Golden, on. you keep... Golden, you I mean, keep get it. You keep forgetting about your Second Amendment <laughs> rights. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he just has the muscle memory of using it like the typical controls, you know? There you go. I, laugh with me. God! No! Damn. The joke <laughs> no! This is like fucking. This is like Riley. The joke is funny, okay? Just laugh. No! No! Funny laugh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> also, fun fact for anyone who is a fan of God of War but doesn't know, like, super in depth Greek mythology stuff, there is actually a Greek god called Kratos. Yep. But they're nothing like in the game. <laughs> Nope. Lap dog of Zeus. Fucking... Yeah, totally. <laughs> the actual Greek god Kratos is described as a lap is a described as the lap dog of Zeus and is specifically said to be the god of power. Yep. Oh, I'm, fact, I'm, a, I'm about to I'm about to make a few boys cry here. Um, Help! I'm a turtle. I can't get up. I'm sorry. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. You okay? So you mentioned Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. That's got me thinking samurai. I've gotta. I've gotta get something off my chest here real quick. I. All right. All right. Who here watched? I'm assuming maybe Riley or Logic may have seen it. Who did you guys watch the uh, the Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer? I not take yet. A pardon? I have not. I didn't even know that was a thing. I haven't followed. I knew it really would come out, but it is, yeah. That song it is, is the in new my Assassin's head now. Creed. It's the new Assassin's Creed game, uh, and it mm -hmm. takes place in feudal Japan. Do you want finally? To take a guess? You want finally? to take a guess who one of the who one of the playable characters? Oh is? yeah, Yasuke. Yasuke, the black samurai, the black dude who over no oh. went, you're rad as fuck. I want oh, you. Holy shit. So, here's my one requirement. Don't fuck it up. I will yeah. never forgive you. Since, I mean, like, a decade ago, people have been wanting a Assassin's Creed game set in Japan. So, yeah. The people Japan setting and getting Yasuke the fucking recognition he deserves. Oh yeah. Also, real quick, aren't they like aren't they rolling back the RPG formula and making it so that an assassination is actually an assassination again? Yes. Hell yeah. Specifically the two playable characters. Uh one of the playable characters is a trained shinobi that works for Oda Nobunaga. <laughs> and okay. the other is Yasuke, so you have one character who focuses on stealth and is a glass cannon, and then Yasuke, who will break your fucking ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I will oh, have any of y'all played Hades, the game? Yes, Hades 2 is fucking great! Play I Hades need to play 2. it! Oh I need to play it! Oh my god, played Hades 2, it's so good! I never What's beat it? the original Hades, I always couldn't beat fucking Hades, but I, I, yeah, himself, you know? Yeah. It's so good, it's so good, good game, good game, oh my god. <laughs> How much have they improved since the first one? I gotta know, because that one had a big game. <laughs> is the gameplay? Game is it like better on every aspect? <laughs> so it still has that like uh, notion where like every time you die, you just like okay, I gotta go in there with a new combo. I gotta figure out how to do it again. Oh, this you is gotta so much. Go fun. in there with a new combo, and everything is different because Melanoe com like controls completely different than her brother. Really? Yes, huh. it's so good. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that. Huh. Actually, Do they I'm still the mention him, by the way? Do they still yes. mention the brother? Okay, okay, so the story of the game is that Kronos got out and went, Hey, older oldest son, 
You, your bitch wife, and your dickhead son are coming with me. Mm. <laughs> oh. And now Melanoe is like working with Hecate to fucking go, okay, kill Kronos. But everybody's like, uh, oh, uh, that's a bad idea because, you know, he's the personification of time. <laughs> I thought Kronos. Wait, are we talking about Kronos the God or Kronos the Titan? Kronos yes. the Titan. So both of them. There was a weird translation by, I believe that it was, uh, I fucking can't, can't remember the dude's name, but he's the same guy who came up with the, uh, Medusa assaulted by Poseidon narrative for Medusa's story when originally she was one of three Gorgon sisters. Um, he oh, split yeah. Two, he kind of split the two of them into two separate gods, but Kronos, as he was originally con was conceived uh, in the Theogony, was the titan of time, particularly time as an all-consuming ravenous force. Hence why he ate his children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's why he's usually depicted as a villain. Yes. Yep. Or like the ultimate no, Greek villain. Basically, the way that Kronos was born was because he up he overthrew his father, who was yeah, like yeah, Kronos. Kronos. Yep, Ronos. and so he was afraid of his own children usurping yeah. his power, so he wanted to basically <laughs> I know all about everyone that. that was born. Yeah. I, I watch early so yeah, Sarcastic Productions. I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the reason why he's often perceived as uh, portrayed as a villain is because his very essence as a primordial entity is supposed to be one of rapid all he's rapid all consuming consumption. He is effect he is in effect the world eater. Yes. Which is per which is perfectly encapsulated because every time that you encounter him in the game, like the first time you encounter him, he's like, "Kids these days show no respect to their elders," and I'm like, "Okay, get fucked, old man." What's up, Golan? <laughs> I think he's, I think he's trying to do the stairs thing. That's right. Oh, the stairs thing. Okay. Man, I fucking hate Bowser. Mm. Fuck. He's a dick. So long, you Bowser. So, so long, gay Bowser. Yeah. But yeah. Peaches, uh, peaches, 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 peaches. Also, you know what's interesting? Mm. A lot of Greek myth depicts, like, Af like, <laughs> or at least implies that Aphrodite is treated as one of the, like, as one of the children of Zeus, when that's not correct. Yeah. There's because, a lot of... um, for any, like, for anyone who doesn't know, Aphrodite came to be after Kronos castrated his father Uranus, and when the balls fell into the ocean, they manifested as Aphrodite for some reason. So, so technically, Aphrodite is Zeus's aunt and Kronos's sister, because she came yep. from the same balls as Kronos. Yep. It's why she is- Which also why... means... She is Ares' great aunt, as well as Hephaestus's. You gotta love Greeks, man. Mm. They're so yeah. good. People seem to also forget that Zeus and Yehera Poseidon are, yeah. were kind of, uh, kind of uh, something I can't really say on the live stream, but they were yeah. kind of a R bad R-wording. Yeah, the, the the horrible the horrible action that you cannot that it it's worse than murder. Um. Yeah, that's specifically how Zeus got Hera as a wife. Because she's the goddess of rulership. So the throne of Olympus was innately hers by right. Yeah. So Zeus went and did the bad thing and was like, imagine how embarrassing it's going to be if everybody finds out that you let this happen. And she's his sister. Yeah. Yeah. I... <laughs> Bastard! I hate Zeus so much. Yeah. Rat yeah, Dis fuck. Bastard. Yeah, I think I think Disney needs to evaluate which of the big three they want to be the good guy. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I make this joke every time Zeus is brought up, but you could throw a rock in a random city in ancient Greece and hit a child of Zeus. <laughs> I mean, if you threw it just right, you probably hit two of them at once. I mean. <laughs> You could probably even throw a rock at a random city within Egypt and have a good chance of hitting a child of Zeus. 